Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're going to be going over the Sights by Lynn Concerto, the first song in the fourth Suzuki book. I believe it's second by Lynn Concerto, third movement. Um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and play the whole thing. I don't have a piano accompaniment, so you're just going to have to hear it in your head. Um, and I'm going to do this in tempo. I don't do practice tempos. Um, there are slow down features on YouTube that you can go ahead and do yourself. So, um, the Sights by Lynn Concerto. guys just a couple different ways and methods on how you should approach this piece okay it won't take more than two minutes to explain so follow very closely with me um i always recommend warming up with the brilliant section why this is in the key signature you're in g anyway and it's the best part it's the fastest part for your fingers and just kind of playing through this kind of piece um with that being said a lot of my students i think struggle putting hands and bow together finger and bow together here so there are a couple different ways you can practice it. Um, just doing two notes very fast. Dotted rhythm. Before you try to do the whole thing in tempo, okay? That goes for the più moto at the end too. Um, a couple different things on this bowing style at the beginning. On the first two notes, we do come off. Make sure you land up, down. Off, up. And the bowing is kind of different. It's changed over all the different copies of the Suzuki book. So what I might be playing might not be what your Suzuki book says. But it's totally legitimate bowings. Um, and I learned on a version that's way older than the one you guys learned on, okay? Isolate the chord section. Um, if you don't play a lot of chords, feel free to use trot, though, if you do use a lot of chords you should be fine um 
Then we repeat the same thing, going on to the espressivo y tranquilo. All you need to do is lots of swells in that section. Make sure there's lots of different dynamic effects, louds and softs, and that um, you use a lot of vibrato. Finally, usually what I leave for the end is the a tempo grazioso at the top of page two. Um, this one, always I find students rush through the quarter notes, okay? So make sure you count very steadily. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, three. One and two and 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 three and. Okay, subdivide. Remember, we're in six eight time, which is a weird time anyway, because you got six beats per measure. Um, that's about it. When you put it all together, you know, just make sure it sounds like very close to what mine sounded like. If you have any questions or comments or want me to review any section on its own, feel free to comment or message me. Um in the comment section down below. Thanks so much and happy practicing.